I've got Omar here doing a relatively tough, tough drill where he's going in and playing a little counter drop and then going up for a high backhand volley. Hard movement to be able to go down and then up and down and then up. So let's see how he's doing. There's a couple of key little technical things that he's doing well, but also not so well that I want to point out that, it, that we're going to work on. So as I said, it's such a hard movement and his, his backhand volley, and you probably really know that a lot of lefties up on that high backhand volley, that's a real weak area for lefties. So I think what I want to try and make sure we're showing, why well, here we go. Here's quite a, maybe a good demo while holding the tube as well. I know I'm showing it from different sides. It's that high low position. And even if I just, you know, I, I know I'm only ghosting that backhand, but if you want to check, I'm trying to get that racket up nice and steady. As I'm hitting it there, I'm trying to keep my shoulders nice and horizontal as well. I'm going to make those points as I go. And I didn't give them obviously a proper demo, but what I'm trying to show is kind of a low to high position as I'm just going to demo it there. So let's just see how this goes again and I'll unpack little bits of it. So that's slightly better. And again, I've done another video where he was doing a counter drop with the machine. Really interesting how his arm and racket is behind his shin and then it's, you know, it's having to push forward. We need to figure out a way where his hand gets out of front a little bit more. You know, that's kind of side on for counter drop, whereas we need to push the hand, you know, above the shoelaces, out in front of the shin maybe. And that for me would be more effective for a solid counter drop. So he goes back, does well with his movement, and let's see what he does with his backhand volley. Wasn't the highest one, and he's just got, and you can just see there, he's just got a little bad habit of breaking that wrist a little bit. It's not as strong as I would like, and but to be fair, I like the, the reach, I like the contact point. There's just something within the body that's not quite balanced. And we'll obviously look at a few more as we're going. So there's the counter, and there's the high one. That was really nice. I think he just clipped the side wall. But that's a much better position, isn't it? You can see he's loaded up. He's getting his arm up. I like, I really like his right hand, by the way. That that opposite hand there, as well as the left, that's just really solid, isn't it? It's like, it's there. It means business. That racket tilts back ever so slightly, which is great. So this is good. And look at his head. Look at how he's having to really turn his head because his upper body is rotating that way. That's so important to get backhand and any power or any control, you need to be showing your shoulder blade, even part of your back to the ball. And he does really well on that one day. He does even more of a little twist. And there, there's just that break there, isn't there? There, you can just see it. That wrist just starts to wobble in and around there. And for me, we need to make that more secure, more solid, because that wobble just means that racket head meets the ball. And it's just a little bit wobbly on the way in possibly. And that's why I think he clips the side wall and doesn't quite have the control and the follow through. You can see that follow through. Look at that. It's just, it's, it's just coming across a bit too much, isn't it? It's just a bit sloppy with what's going on over there. And it's not quite directing to where that ball should be going towards the target. So let's keep going. We'll have a look there. Yeah, that counter drop definitely needs some work, but the main goal was on the high backhand volley. I like how he gets his racket there really early. Look how he's engaging the wrist, racket there, it's nicely across the body. I know he's going for it there, but you know, like I said, lefty's backhand volley needs a lot of work. So this early setup, I think is really key. Could be slightly better at his grip. Kind of looks like his thumb is higher than his finger. You want that top finger, that trigger finger higher than the thumb. So that could be something to have a little look at and work on. Again, decent setup. Is he strong in the shoulders? Yeah, there it's just not quite right. You can probably just get the sense that he could be maybe a little bit more side on the ball at that optimal side on position. It feels like he goes and reaches forward. That's it. If I was to film it from this angle, I think we would see that that ball and that contact, it's too far forward. He's actually searching for it. And this is what I tend to find is, a, is again, a compensation for that wrist bulge because the racket has to be relatively flat there. If he was to let the ball come slightly further back, that ball is probably always clipping the side wall first and not going straight enough. So I think that's really interesting that we need to get him to trust the ball to come more side on. And it's a bit of a chicken and egg. Do we try get the wrist sorted first? Because we've been trying by the way. Or do we enforce that that ball has to be side on and that, you know, basically fixes the wrist as it is. It's a bit of a hybrid of both. There's no right or wrong answer in that one. 
but that side on position would be really interesting to work on because he definitely is reaching forwards, almost getting behind the ball rather than getting side on. That looks slightly better. And what I like about that, he had to, not had to, but he used his open stance, his right leg more, and that definitely looked more side on. You can just see that's better. And he's, there we go. And the follow through is better. He's shaping around the ball. There's definitely this, you know, this backhand shape up on that volley that I see the better players doing. They're hitting around the ball. They're having their wrist slightly cocked, whereas Omar's wrist there is not so cocked because of that, those knuckles just bulging. And like I said, just to give some backstory, it's come a long, long way. It used to be very wobbly, very bulgy. He's worked really hard to try fix it, and it's getting better the whole time. But I think this is a great drill for people to practice. Counter drop, someone tries to lob you and you're working to get that backhand volley. Let's just slow-mo a couple and see how we're looking. Yeah, definitely too far in front. Maybe just didn't quite judge his footwork. Again, I'd like to see that counter drop a little bit neater and tidier out in front. See, that was interesting, that one, because it almost forced him to get into the optimal position. And again, really good to be able to use that open stance, especially with the lefty off that backhand. There we go. That's quite interesting. He had, to, he had to almost let that drop a little bit more, get more side on. Again, there's still the same problem with that little bulge in the wrist. We could tidy that up, make the wrist more cocked so the knuckles are looking slightly more towards the camera at that point. I'm almost just demoing. You can't even see what I'm doing. But, you know, those, those knuckles need to look a little bit further forward to be able to trust that that ball can become side on. And what that does, it really tightens the ball up. Interesting follow through. He has to almost like block it there. Didn't quite get the follow through right. And yeah, you can see the ball clip the side wall. So a few little small things in regard to this technique we can work on. But on the whole, this is really, really positive. I think there might be one more in there. Let's have a look at this as the last one. Again, look at that setup. You know, if you can look at there, he's having to look out the corner of his eyes almost. You can see his eyes. He's having to strain to look at the ball, which is good because he's clearing his body out the way. He's trying to turn trying to get side on, that setup's great. And you know, the more I see this, the more encouraged I'm getting about that, that wrist will be fixed. Ah, nearly, like, look at that. All until then, fantastic. Great, great, great. And let's just, I know I'm kind of zooming right in. Just watch that wrist. I can't zoom in more. Oh, that's fine. Like that is where the, the damage happens. Let me just, you know, go and try something a little quite cool here, hopefully. Ah, let's give that a go. Yeah, you can just see that wrist there. So let me do it about that. So there, that's it there. It just does that. You can just see the bulge, you know, it turns upwards to the ceiling when it should be a little bit more cocked in that position. So yeah, if, we, if Omar could work on that and we will work on that, that's going to help a lot get him into a slightly more side-on position and trusting that that ball can be left to be more side-on because like I said, there's more shape on the ball, more spin on the ball, and ideally that ball is going to be tight. Whether it goes to the back or to the front, that floorboard squash can come into play there. So hopefully anyone watching that's struggling with a high back end volley, hopefully this is resonating, but also equally important to get that combination of low to high, low to high, a hard movement, but really worth getting out there and practicing a little bit more.